I'm trying a new setup today um, with the camcorder uh, that I used to use before, a couple of years ago. <clears throat> so uh, it's not as close and it's probably going to be quieter, so I'm s s sort of being loud. You might hear the background fans and stuff. Anyway, um, and there she starts with the anyway. <sighs> today I thought I would share with you the uh, joys of looking young <laughs> when you're old um, and this has nothing to do with makeup but I will um, describe my occasional skincare routine because frankly I don't often do this but uh, apparently um, genetics plays a huge role because let's put it this way when I was younger um, did I say hi it's me Probably not. Hi, it's me! Uh, when I was younger, I was, um, I suffered from acne. And, um, I think I need my chair up a bit. Hold on, be right back. <laughs> uh, yeah, when I was younger, I suffered from acne. Uh, I still get spots, so it's not like a one-off thing. Um, and so uh, the, the benefits of having um, slimy, greasy skin and acne is that when you're old and ancient, you don't look quite as bad, other than my stringy neck. Um, I don't have wrinkles, which is great, seeing as I just turned, this year I turned 58 million, 250,000, whatever, a lot. <laughs> old. <laughs> anyway, um, well, I'm not that old. I'm sure there's older people. Well, I know there's older people. Anyway, she says again, Frank, um, I thought I would share some of my secrets. I haven't even used these, so it's not really a secret, but I do use this. This is something I use, and you're supposed to use it every day, but I use it once a month, maybe. Uh, this is called the Rock uh, Daily. Daily? Oh, well, you're supposed to use it every day. Resurfacing discs, they're really good. Uh, I have the flip top, that's how old these ones are. I just keep replacing the top. I've got like six of these in reserve because I don't use them that often. I get them from Amazon Subscribe and Save, which means you get them slightly cheaper. And um, they have little pads. One size is a little bit coarse and the other one's smooth and you use them on your face and then you have to wash it off and it lathers up. And the rough side is to exfoliate and the soft side is to not exfoliate, just wipe, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that is today. I have this color, you can't really tell, but this color is from my Zoya, um, and it's called Channing. It's this color, and on my toes, I have some purple that I did last night. Ladies, why do you go to get a manicure and pedicure when you can do it yourself? And it's so much nicer. And they don't, you don't get somebody else uh, doing whatever shape they want to do, and you don't have people giving you um, flesh-eating bacteria um, e type things. So next, this is something I just bought uh, a few weeks back, and haven't used them yet. It's called the Garnier Extra Lift Daily Targeted Wrinkle Treatment. I thought I'd use it for my stringy neck. Or I'll ask Dr. Vanity, hey, how much would it cost to get my neck strings fixed? Kidding! Kidding! Okay, and then this one I do use sometimes, uh, and this is called the Andalou Naturals uh, Fruit Stem Cell Science uh, Revitalized Serum Age Defying. Can't, you probably can't see it. Ugh. Anyway, that's that. Those are three things I supposedly use, but something I do use and Holly loves is the Biore uh, 30 Daily Deep Pore Cleansing Cloths. They're really, Oliver started to use this. Um, they're the lazy person's uh, face cleaner. They don't have an abrasive side. Um, this is the one I'm going to give Oliver. You, I keep these in a Ziploc bag because uh, the little peely thing, that bit there, uh, eventually it'll become unsticky after about the third or fourth time of opening and closing it and then uh, they will dry out so uh, you keep it 
in a Ziploc. This is something I use for makeup remover. And I was in Target a little while ago, and um, there was a man looking for makeup remover for his wife or girlfriend or mother or daughter or somebody. And he asked the lady there about make eye makeup remover stuff, and she had no clue. And so I just happened to be walking in that direction, so I said, and I saw this. I just hit my leg. I did not fart. Yes, my leg may not be covered. That's why it sounded like a big slappy fart. Uh, anyway, this stuff is really good. I use about, it depends if I'm wearing like full makeup, um, which happens so often. Um, but I'll use like, with full makeup, I'll use like three or four of these. And since I don't use that many, it lasts forever. I get these on Amazon subscribe and save as well. Something else I wanted to share with you was this thing, the Sweet Sweat. This is what I'm wearing over my girdly type thing, whatever it's called, the, the thingy. I'm not even using it anymore. Um, but this really makes you sweat. Uh, and I use it when I'm working out. Then I take it off and just use the other thing. I swap it out with a dry, clean one because this really does make you sweat. I'm wearing it around my hip uh, and my bottom where it's slightly swollen down there as well. Um, something else I wanted to share with you about the face is this, and I do use this. This is the daily, uh, the Skin Daily Skincare Solutions by, I have no idea, Niacinamide 5% Serum Professional Vitamin B3 Serum. And it's by some company. This is what it looks like. I use this serum actually there and on my cheeks and there. Because I don't get Botox or fillers or anything like that. Because I don't know. I just don't want to get Botox. Um, something that I used, I read about ages ago. And I really had thought it would be a tub the size of this thing. But it's actually this size. It is called La Beauté Pure Vitamin C Eye Gel. It's tiny. It's very small. And vitamin C uh, is supposed to be great for your skin and stuff. It smells bloody wonderful and I do use it from time to time um, but I usually keep it on here so I don't use it that often but anyway I have long nails so putting my finger in there usually means that I'm gonna get most of it in my nails and not on my finger so what I do is I have one of these things a q-tip or a what the hell are they called swabs I don't know uh, thingies with cotton wool on each end. This. And I put it in here, I put it in there, and then I put it on there, and then I put it there. And I that's the way I use it, because that way you don't have to waste half a ton of it. And it's so small, and it's not the cheapest thing. It's not expensive. I can't remember how much I paid for it. And this is the Wonder Lash Serum that I use on my lashes from time to time. The one I used to use before does not sting. This one I'm getting used to only applying it on the lashes again only once a week maybe or once a fortnight which means every two weeks because uh, I just don't but you're supposed to this is what I use in my hair when I'm going to straighten it HSI professional thermal protector blah blah we infuse with argan oil and I actually have argan oil on my shoulder I usually, um, I do have argan oil, but I kind of feel a little odd about putting, ar why am I waving this? About putting argan oil in my hair, because then I kind of feel that it would be greasy. But I saw something the other day where somebody put argan oil on just, like, from there down. And as you can see, uh, there's a lot of down to use on my hair. So, um, I don't actually use it. And this is the thing I use after I wash my hair every time I wash my hair. This is the John Frieda, and I do use this every single time I wash my hair, John Frieda Frizzy's Extra Strength Serum. And I put 14 pumps on my hand, rub my hands together, and put it all over, not from the roots, but from about four inches down, all the way through my hair, go through my hair. I never ever use a brush in my hair, ever. When I wash my hair every three days two three days I well three days I uh, will detangle it with my fingers never 
with a brush or a comb or anything like that and there's not usually that many tangles as long as my hair is there's usually not that many tangles and the last thing I'm going to show today is what I'm going to be using today oh my goodness what my hair is not naturally reddish oh my god no yes it's not yes it's not no it's not red this is what I use in it. It doesn't even look right in this shitty light. This is called the Garnier Nutrice uh, Tamale or Rich Auburn Blonde number 76. Because my hair is so dark, uh, I had to use something very light to make, make it actually show colour. Uh, in some lights you can actually see how red it is, but you can't really see right now. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway, I'm using three boxes because I'm doing it all the way through today from root to the ends because uh, I used to, I do my hair every three weeks um, because my hair grows fast and then you can see all the dark roots uh, so I do it every three weeks and um, if I leave it longer than you can see, and I don't like showing roots I really don't it's like I don't like having chipped nails and stuff like that it, to me, it, it, it shows that you're... Uh, well, to me, it makes me feel like I look like a slob. And I don't like looking like a slob. Except for the fact that I'm only wearing a top. <laughs> um, so, I do it every three weeks, but uh, maybe every two or three times I do all of my hair. I think every two times at the moment I do all of my hair. Because for some reason this stuff fades. So, so, if anybody can suggest anything that doesn't fade, that would be great. And I don't even wash my hair every day, so that's pissing me off. The thing is, I wash my hair with gloves um, because otherwise it stains my nails underneath the paint. Um, and throughout the three weeks, I still wear gloves every time I wash my hair because it will. Come, I still have the colour coming out. So that's why probably the colour is fading. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Now, I wanted to show you guys a before and after picture, quickly flashing it on the screen because I don't really actually want to show it close up. I was going to use it as my thumbnail today um, but I'm going to show you a before and after the 60 pound weight loss because I'm sure some people who watch this don't actually believe that I was ever overweight and actually by BMI it was obese because I'm sure. Anyway uh, this is a picture it's really bad because at the time it was my birthday and I was eating cake so I've got freaking cake right in front of me which is bad because I don't sit around what I didn't gain all that way just by eating cake okay I don't even know that I should show this that was me when I was very heavy for me I have a side by side. I was I put this on the other day, just to do a side by side. <sighs> and I'll show one. Oopsie! I'll show one more picture of. God, now I'm starting to to behave like Holly does. I can't get this to flip in work. Okay, I'll show you one more picture of me in my bigger days. Can you see? Huge goal! And the bazongas were massive! Now, one last thing I'm going to point out here. You know how freaking difficult that was to show? See how long ago that was. Uh, I actually lost the weight from 2011. Um, May, I started. That's when my dad went into hospital. Um, and that's when I decided to do something about my weight. Um, what was I going to... The, the last thing I was going to share with you? I 
I've forgotten what it was. I'm sure it was very important. Anyway, uh, I started doing that, um, the, the weight loss thing in 2011, and uh, probably not in the healthiest way uh, possible, um, because I've, uh, many reasons, and because my dad was sick and I just, blah, blah, blah. And I lost 67 pounds or something. Um, and it took me probably till about September. Today's seven weeks since I ate chocolate, by the way. And I walked into Holly's room earlier. And she had massive, massive, massively huge, humongo bars of Twix in there. And I do like Twix. And I was in there and I was like, oh my god, my saliva glands started to go work overtime. That was me hitting my legs, not farting, okay? Anyway, my saliva glands started to go crazy because I thought, oh, chocolate, and not just chocolate Twix, and I kind of like Twix. And so I started to draw, and then Holly had to push me out of her room. Yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it um, for today because I can't remember what I was going to say. The one last thing that I was going to share with you. Uh, weight loss is not easy, but I find having lost the weight that maintaining the weight loss is just as hard as the actual weight loss. I'm not kidding, it is. I mean, I gained a few pounds last, um, I wanted to gain some weight in case I had my breasts reduced because for the insurance to cover any of it, because they only cover 50% of it here in the US, uh, I would have to lose a certain amount and to lose a certain amount for my height weight ratio, blah, 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 it was like I had to lose 250 cc's out of each breast so I thought I'd better gain some weight because I don't want to end up with really big, for my figure and my frame and everything and because I'm used to having larger breasts, um, I didn't want to lose what I feel, other than my hair, is the only womanly thing about me because I have no hips. And so I didn't want to go to a, a B or a C cup. I wanted to be a small D. And the doctor said, both doctors that I've been to see have said that I have to lose a certain amount for the insurance to cover it. So unless I can cover it myself fully, um, I will have to lose 250 cc's. And when I was at the doctor's office a couple of weeks ago, I picked it up that the... Um, silicone breast implanty things and I was looking to see how much 250 cc's is and it's quite a bit um, so I'd gained weight just in case I did the breast reduction and I never I haven't gone ahead and done that yet um, so um, whenever I have to do it I'm, unless I'm paying for it myself fully I'm going to have to gain weight again because I don't want to end up with little boobs I really don't have the figure to look female with small boobs because I have no hips and I don't want to look like a boy. Anyway, that's it for today. Please give the video a thumbs up, share the video. I'm sorry it went on so long, but I was like going on about all these products and sharing nothing at all. Um, thumbs up the video, subscribe, blah blah, share, comments down below. If you've got any questions, if you've got any advice on something to use that doesn't fade, I'm not going to hairdressers because it's, I'm not spending $300 every two or three weeks on my hair. Um, that was me and my legs again. That was not me farting. Okay, talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Bye.